magnetic and non-magnetic materials. Let's try walking in Magni's shoes and try out this little experiment. Take a walking stick or a hockey bat and stick a piece of magnet at its bottom end. Now walk through your playground or garden and see what the stick attracts. Touch the objects around your house with your Magni's stick. Now make a list of things that the magnet attracted and things that the magnet did not attract. Magnets attract certain materials while some materials do not get attracted by magnets. The materials that are attracted by magnets are known as magnetic materials while materials that are not attracted by a magnet are known as non-magnetic materials. Try another simple activity in your playground at home or school or any place that you go to that has sandy soil. Take a magnet and rub it in the sand or soil. Now pull out the magnet and check if there are particles of sand or soil sticking to the magnet. Gently shake the magnet to remove the particles of sand or soil. You will find that some particles of sand and soil are still stuck to the magnet. These are small pieces of iron that are mixed with sand or soil. Some places might have more iron particles in the soil than others as soil varies in different places. If you take a magnet bar and throw it in a plate of iron fillings, you will find that most of the iron fillings are attracted towards the two ends of the bar magnet. These ends are called the poles of the magnet. All the different shaped magnets have a north pole and a south pole.